Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the recent update from Ukraine and yes I'm currently in Ukraine somewhere in this part. Everything that is happening in Ukraine, uh, happening uh, either on south part or of course eastern part of Ukraine, Russia, offense over here. And they are quite successful, they were successful near to Kremina. They were able to capture the place, uh, it's a kind of big village uh, we have there. And last time we were talking, it was like, I think like this. And now it's like this, my friends. So they are offensive here, here, and you can see some of the errors arrows <laughs> here and there so our troops i hope they were able to get away from this cloth so there the tactics the russian use is their attack using these lines of cloths uh, like in second world war and but our defense is very strong there they are using uh, Russia uses aviation, they use uh, artillery, they use helicopters and every day I see the videos how we shut down helicopters, how we shut down the airplanes, very modern type of the airplanes uh, that they use and the main, main thing actually they want to do is they want to capture our troops here by circling on this uh, road line, big road line from Izum to Donetsk and Gorlivka. Unfortunately, they have advantage on the east, so Russia, they took all of their forces from all around uh, Russia and they put them to the eastern part and now we have 5 to 1 ratio, so we have 5, uh, let's say, army men from the Russian side fighting against one Ukrainian uh, on this line uh, here. Uh, that's bad, of course, for us, but we are defending, that is why we need to uh, stay on our ground and protect our country over there or to let them take this uh, part if it will be the threat for our army there just if it's gonna be the threat for us to be surrendered by Russians on the south part we have uh, well pretty much calm but they continue to fight uh, to fire their ro rockets to Mikhailov and uh, about this part, it's part of Moldova actually, but uh, we call it PMR, it's unrecognized republic where Russian peacekeepers are there. Uh, there. I think there are around 2,000 of Russian troops. So as you see, we need to take care about the Kiev, we need to t take care about this place, we need to take care about Sumy. So our forces, they are spread around Ukraine because we have long border with Belarus and Belarus still presents the threat for Ukraine because they have their forces that so far was their forces were not attacking Ukraine, but we don't know what happens next because the Belarusian leader Lukashenko is the friend of Putin, so we don't know what to expect from Belarus. So we have to, uh, you know, keep our forces there. What the rumors I heard that probably near to the summer, closer to the summertime, probably NATO countries may take uh, this part of Ukraine, the western part. Uh, of Ukraine just for security, just as police, uh, they may, you know, not offend, but they may just go and provide security for those regions so we can release our own uh, soldiers and forces to fight against Russians on the eastern part. That's what I heard, but I may not say uh, the, the true things because those are just the rumors. The good part for me, I was able to the good news for me is I was able to find some iodine. We need the iodine uh, to replace, to put it in a thyroid, uh, because in case of nuclear attack, which is of course possible, because of this conflict is large, it's huge, and we don't know what Putin thinks about, what their military thinks think about. So the possibility of nuclear war still exists and yeah, I was able to find those iodine. The first thing you need to do is to take it just for the time you hear about the nuclear attack and after that you need to hide in the basement for at least 24, sorry, at least 48 hours and there you can save your life. I'm far away for, from any kind of city so even 
nuclear attack starts on the cities I'll be secure but uh, yeah of course it I hope um, it will not uh, go to this scenario my friends um, about uh, this air well the good news yeah uh, you know there's uh, this air carrier the low cost area carrier in Europe so they launched uh, the ticket sales for to fly to Kiev, Lviv and Odessa from European cities and they sell it right now from they start flying from the June <laughs> so I don't know if aviation recovers that fast if I see them very optimistic you know my friends but I still do not believe that it will it's gonna be like very easy way out of this conflict I think it will prolong for longer time than it will go longer than the June still our cities are under attack and of course that presents the threat for commercial flights in Ukrainian airspace so far it is closed but maybe they know something that I don't really know I hope uh, not I hope but I'm sure that we're gonna win this war against Russia because we are so united the world is so united against the terrorist country that attack uh, Ukraine um, because it could attack any kind of country neighboring country like Poland, Lithuania and Estonia, wherever. And now Finland is going to join NATO, right? Uh, Sweden and Finland, because they saw what could happen, right? Uh, so you join the club and you are protected against the invaders. My friends, stay awesome wherever you are. Wish you a peaceful sky and have a great time.